Ratios and Proportions C4 Equivalent ratios are two or more ratios that represent the same comparison. Write the equivalent ratios for the following. 3 is to 4. That's A. B is 9 is to 6. C is 10 is to 15 and D is 4 is to 6. So I'll do two questions for you. So what are we trying to do here? To find equivalent ratios. We say equivalent ratios are two or more ratios that represent same comparison. So what is the comparison here? 3 is to 4. So same comparison we can get like this. Let's say we have two groups of 3 is to 4. Then it could be 2 times 3, 6. And 2 times 4 as 8. So 6 is to 8 is also equal to 3 is to 4. Correct? You could multiply this by 3 also. So if I multiply this by 3, I get 9 is to 4 times 3 as 12. So like this, we can get lot of equivalent ratios. There is no limit. We can multiply by 10 and then we get 30 is to 40, right? All these are equivalent ratios, correct? All of them are same ratios. Now here, B, 9 is to 6. 9 is to 6, we can sometimes divide by the same number. For example, both can be divided by 3. So if I divide them by 3, let's divide them by 3, okay? Then what do we get? 9 divided by 3 is 3, right? And 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 9 is to 6 is equivalent to 3 is to 2. These are equivalent ratios, correct? You can multiply that equivalent ratio by some number and get more equivalent ratios. For example, now I can multiply this by 5. So what do I get? 5 times 3 15 and 5 times 2 as 10. So 15 is to 10 is equal to 3 is to 2 and is also equal to 9 is to 6. Do you see that? They look very different but they are same ratios. Correct? They are all equivalent ratios. Correct? We could multiply this by 10. So we get 150 is to 100. Right? That is when I multiply this by 10. So we get the same equivalent ratios. So what is important to understand here that to get equivalent ratios we need to multiply or divide by the same number. Each term should be multiplied and divided by the same number. And this number is called the scale factor, which we'll learn in the next example. This number by which we are multiplying and dividing is called the scale factor. Correct? So scale factor we'll learn in the next video. Now here are two more questions for you to do. Write down at least three equivalent ratios for both of them. 10 is to 15, you can divide both by 5 like this. And then go ahead. 4 is to 6, you can divide them by 2. And then work like this. Then multiply, okay? Or you can straight away multiply, your wish. But try to give at least three equivalent ratios for each. Okay? Thank you and all the best.